Only three states have elections for governor in 2023, and today on Political Access, we're going to go through all three of them and see what the ratings are. So it's kind of a light off-year type of election, but we've got three states, Louisiana, Mississippi, and Kentucky. They're all electing a governor later this year. There's not going to be a lot to say, given it's such a sparse map, but let's start in Louisiana. The current governor is Democrat John Bell Edwards, and he is term limited out. He served two four-year terms. His last win was close. But we have to remember that Louisiana does have the jungle primary. So all the candidates, they're going to be on one ballot. It doesn't matter what party they're from. October 14th is the election. If nobody gets over 50% of the vote, then there will be a runoff. So Louisiana, it's certainly considered a red state on a national or federal level. But state politics are different. We've seen blue states elect Republicans in Massachusetts and Maryland. And the same thing happens the other way around. So I think more of the focus is going to be on the Republican side. As in the case of Massachusetts and Maryland, we did just see them go back to electing a Democratic governor after two terms of Republicans. Now, you might argue that it was all about candidate quality. That's true, but I still think those states were likely to go back to their typical partisan lean for governor. So for the Democrats, they have Sean Wilson, who has formed an exploratory committee He's the Louisiana Secretary of Transportation. And there's a whole slew of candidates here that have publicly expressed interest in potential candidates. Cedric Richmond, he has declined to run for this office. On the Republican side, there's also a whole slew of candidates that have already declared. The most high profile, I would say, is Jeff Landry, the Louisiana Attorney General. John Schroeder, the state treasurer, is also in this race. And there's also a bunch of candidates that have declined. So it remains to be seen who's a frontrunner. It's all completely up in the air. There's some polling down here. But it's pretty outdated at this point. But it does show Sean Wilson on the Democratic side. He seems to be the front runner there. But if two Republicans are the top two vote getters in that jungle primary, then the Democrats will be shut out of the general election. And we see the ratings here are already favoring the Republicans. If we go back to the map, my own personal rating is going to be Lean's Republican. That's basically a preliminary cautious rating. It seems likely to flip back, but there's so many months left. We don't know who the front runners are going to be. It could easily jump up to likely or safe Republican. And there's a chance Democrats can hold this seat if the Republicans completely implode. If there's bad candidates and scandals, bad national environment, it's a possibility the Republicans blow it. But right now I will say it's Lean's Republican. And that jungle primary, I'm not a fan of that at all. It makes it a little bit more complicated, but it is what it is. Now let's move on to the next state, and that is Mississippi. Incumbent Republican Tate Reeves does appear to actually be running for re-election, so it's almost certain he would be the nominee. So that means the focus here will be on the Democrats. We've got a few declared candidates. Probably the most high profile is Brandon Presley. He does appear to actually be a conservative Democrat. He could make it more interesting than it's supposed to be. So it's early, but he's probably going to be the nominee. If we move down here, we can see that the ratings are solid from Cook, likely from Inside Elections and Larry Sabato. There's one poll here. It shows Tate Reeves at 43%, only a 4% lead over Brandon Presley. That poll was from early January. And there's also another here that shows Tate Reeves only at 33% when going up against a generic opponent. So that should be concerning for Tate Reeves. He's not really all that popular, even though it's a red state. I don't personally hear a lot about Tate Reeves, but due to the nature of this race, I'm going to have to put it at likely Republican. You could put it at safe because it's early, it's unlikely to flip, but just in case it ends up derailing for Reeves, I'm going to put it at likely Republican. And that takes us to the last state of Kentucky. I've been over the state in the past, and to make it simple, it's a red state, but again, they have a Democratic governor. Andy Bashir. he's regarded as more moderate. The legislator in Kentucky is heavily Republican, so having a little bit of balance in the governor's mansion might be a way to balance it out. That's one way some of these voters might look at it. Plus, Andy Bashir, he's the son of former Governor Steve Bashir, who was also regarded as conservative. Bashir's approval ratings are high, so he is running for re-election, and he is going to be the nominee. So down to the Republicans, and there's a ton of them. The most high profile is Daniel Cameron. He's the Attorney General of Kentucky. And as you can see, he's not alone. There's a deep Republican bench of potential challengers. Daniel Cameron, he already does have the Donald Trump endorsement. Kelly Kraft, she's in this race as well. She's got some endorsements. The GOP primary polling shows Daniel Cameron in the lead at about 39%. A lot of undecideds. The primary is in May, so it's not super far away. And I already did a video on this recently, but there's a poll out here that shows Andy Bashir leading all of the Republican challengers. His worst performance is against Daniel Cameron, but he's still leading 49 to 40 with 11% undecided. So of all three of these races, this is going to be the one to watch. And if we go back to the map, 
I would have to give the advantage to Bashir and put this at Leans Democrat. It's hard to see Bashir losing, given his popularity is clearly above 50%, and as I said, he's regarded as more conservative, certainly than the National Democratic Party, and the rest of the state is very heavily Republican, so Bashir provides a little bit of balance. Could the Republicans end up knocking off Bashir? Sure, that could happen. But I also think there's a chance that Bashir wins by double digits. So these are the ratings I have so far. Republicans would get one flip in Louisiana. But all three of these states have some level of uncertainty to them. And that could make for a potential upset. So I don't think I'm breaking any new ground on my ratings here. It's probably in line with what most people think. Be sure to update them as things change or as we head into the primaries. So those are my 2023 governor's ratings. Let me know in the comments, what would your ratings be? Who do you think is going to be the nominee in Louisiana? Is Tate Reeves in any trouble in Mississippi? And how much of a shot do Republicans have in Kentucky? Let me know down below and on your way out, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.